Adam Coleman from the Houston Chronicle joins us now. Hey, Adam, what colleges have been showing the most interest in the Houston area for our class of 2022 guys? Yeah, I think it starts with uh, Texas A&M. Uh, they've done an outstanding job, and I think it's Texas A&M by, by quite a few miles right now in the class of 2022. Uh, Connor Wegman from Bridgeland, just an outstanding quarterback coming off of uh, what some would say a breakout year. Um, he's, he's committed to Texas A&M. Bobby Taylor, one of the very best corners in the country uh, from KD, he is committed to Texas A&M. Donovan Green, a great tight end, and his teammate, P.J. Williams from Dickinson. They're both committed to Texas A&M. And there's a, a few other, you know, high profile kids that are in the mix for Texas A&M. A guy like Harold Perkins from Cypress Park. Um, I think it kind of speaks to the Orange Bowl win and just kind of what, you know, what progress can kind of do for the recruiting trail uh, for a team. I think Jimbo's kind of feels like he's got it headed in the right direction. They got that signature bowl win and, and the kids are taking notice. So uh, we're seeing that, and we're also seeing Texas. You know, I know they got a new coaching staff and some new faces, Steve Sarkeesian, and, but uh, I think they're still recruiting at a very high level. You talk about uh, Jadon Blue, who's class of two, 2022, and Ruben Owens, who is not 2022, he's 2023. But, you know, when you get, you know, the best running back in the country um, in, in your class, uh, you know, both of those guys are considered that. You know, I think you're, you're headed in the right direction with Texas. and, and you know, I think you can't ignore the out-of-state factors. You know, I think every year we're kind of seeing that. You know, Ohio State in this past class, they get Donovan Jackson uh, from Houston Episcopal, you know, and, and now in this class they're getting a guy like uh, Quinn Ewers uh, from South Lake Carroll. And um, and then you talk about Clemson. Clemson's a, another school that's kind of starting to plant its flag in Texas. They get uh, Cade Klubinick from Austin Westlake and North Shore fans kind of know know his name very well from the state semifinals this year. You cannot ignore those out-of-state factors. Texas is probably, in my opinion, the most heavily recruited state in the country. Thanks, Adam. We'll look forward to talking to you one last time this school year next week.